Okay, what's up everyone? Enzo Reacts back here. I am back with a pizza review, believe it or not. Once again, we are back on the independent slice shop route. Now, if you want to go check my last pizza review, I did Canadian Pizza, which was another independent slice shop. But you can go watch that review, I got the links up there. Now, this is Figaro's Pizza, which it's right across from Bridgeport Plaza. Um, and I've actually I've been in there once before to get a slice, but uh, when I went there, I would wait for like five minutes, rang the bell, nobody showed up to the, the front counter, even though they were open. It was really weird. Um, that was like maybe two years ago, so I just never came back after that. Uh, but So I've never actually really been there and had pizza. But yeah, Figaro's is decently close to me, so I'm surprised I've never been there before. And I, I kind of want to try them out, you know, get a review on it. Um, and again, I got a uh, medium pizza, which is their smallest uh, Canadian pizza. Um, this one was uh, 9.75, which is pretty good price. I mean, I'm not mad at that price at all. It's pretty competitive, I'd say. Um, and for an independent place, it's pretty good. So let's look at the box first thing. Again, another very generic pizza box, nothing. Here we go, Figaro's Pizza. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I'm seeing some big pieces of mushroom here. Um, looks pretty well done, which is actually, you don't see too many pizzas that are that crispy, that well done. Um, it looks solid. I think let's take a pull test. Ooh, there's some little pull on all, on all ends there. It wasn't like enormous pull, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It pulls like at a bunch of different levels. Um, let's take a flop test. These are pretty solid. Wow, that holds up pretty good. For this, is actually a heavy pizza. It holds up pretty solid. I'm surprised. All right, um, take a smell. Wow, a very strong mushroom smell is the first thing I smell. It smells fresh. It smells fragrant. I like it. I like the smell a lot. So I'm gonna try this. Okay guys, I've had half of Figaro's Canadian Pizza and I believe we are ready to give a verdict. I do like the flavor of the crust, like it's it's a pretty traditional, you can see it looks pretty legit, it's got that nice dusting on it, um, it, it actually really holds up very well and it actually doesn't taste that thick on the front end, but when, once you get to the back end. It does get actually really thick. I think this is probably one of the thickest crusts that we've had. I just wish it was a bit thinner. I would enjoy it a lot more. Cheese is pretty much perfect here. I mean, it's um, it's baked well. It's got a pretty, like I think it's got the perfect amount. It's just a little greasy. That's my only issue with it. It's it's good though. It tastes nice. Um, pulls well. There's not much bad to say about the cheese. I like it. Um, what else do we have here? The toppings. Uh, first thing I gotta say, they're distributed well for sure. Just that maybe a bit more mushrooms would be nice. Um, the mushrooms themselves, however, a little disappointing, a um, little rubbery, they kind of bite back. Bacon's good, it's above average, has that kind of classic um, fatty pork flavor to it. Pepperoni's above average, you can tell by the way it's crisping up here, it's legitimate pepperoni, which is nice, tastes good, above average. To make the sauce, wow, this is probably my favorite thing about this pizza. That sauce is probably the second best sauce I've had easily besides Davenport Pizza, they had an excellent sauce. This sauce is good. Um, it's a different sauce than, than Davenport. Davenport was like a sweet, almost tangy sauce. This one's like a rustic um, marinara. Like it's very traditional tasting. You can taste the herbs, you can see them. Um, it's a darker red of a marinara, which is more of a traditional sauce than like a light, kind of bl almost blood red color, which is more Americanized. This is a solid sauce, I like it for sure. They put a good amount on, maybe a little bit more would have been nice. Um, we gotta think about the price, I think it's pretty good for what they're offering, they're offering quality toppings. Um, pretty solid pizza for the price, I would say, definitely. A little greasy, again I usually don't complain about the grease, unless you can see a pretty heavy grease marks, and it's kind of 
does soak just a little bit of the edge on the crust. Because this is actually a pretty solid pizza. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. It's better, probably better than most of the average pizzas we've had. Again, if I'm scoring something in between like a four to a six, it's about an average pizza. I think I'm gonna just plop this right in the middle though of those two and score this a five out of 10 guys, 5.0 out of 10. Um, yeah, that's like completely an average pizza, right on the average. Um, um, definitely check this out if you're in the area. It's decently cheap, um, kind of long waiting times, but you gotta just go in when they're less busy, I guess, so. All right guys, this has been Enzo Reacts Pizza Review right here. Brought to you by Billy and I. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, whenever uh, we get time for it. All right, and we out. See you next time.